Hi, it's Andy again, and today I have another tutorial for you guys, and uh, this is going to be part one of going over the new uh, Android support design library. Uh, so the design library has several pieces to it. It's got a navigation view, which is what I'll be going over today. Uh, it's got uh, some overflow. Um, let's see, what do they call it? They call it uh, floating labels for the edit text. Um, the fab uh, floating action button, which we've been able to use third party libraries for, but at least now it's included. Uh, snack bars, also third, li third party libraries had those before. Um, tab layout, again, available before. And then this is something new, a coordinator layout. And I'll go over, go over that when we do the, the actual um, tutorial but basically this the coordinator layout lets um, you know the, all the children kinda know what's going on on the screen to other animations so like if you have a snack bar that pops up and it would normally impede on the view of a floating action button that floating action button is automatically gonna move up with the snack bar as well and then move back down once that uh, notification has dismissed Okay, so this right here is actually the navigation view, and I'm going to go over this. Um, it's actually very easy to implement, however, very odd as well. So um, first, uh, I just on the on the actual program, we just have one activity. Uh, notice I'm extending uh, app compat activity. Um, you're going to want to include um, your app compat library and uh, this is the new uh, support design library um, you may or may not need these probably not um, but definitely you're going to need the app compat library and the design library so let's go over our activity main so this is a pretty um, standard drawer layout this is nothing really new this allows us to uh, automatically swipe from a location over here and drag it back and forth. You get that for free with the drawer layout without writing any code other than you know the layout. Um, so the drawer layout requires at least two children. Um, the first one is going to be your main view which is what we see here. Uh, I haven't really loaded anything in it. The only thing I have here is the toolbar um, and since I'm putting the toolbar inside the frame layout um, you'll you'll notice that um, when you pull this, it actually covers the toolbar. Um, if you don't want to do that, or here, there we go. If you don't want to cover the toolbar, um, you can just create another view and have this in uh, like a, let's say you have a linear layout. You can have the toolbar above the drawer layout and you'll have the linear layout as your parent. So that'll move the toolbar to be uh, above your drawer if you really wanted it that way. Okay, so this is all old, old stuff. This isn't really new. What's new is down here. Um, this The class is Android Support Design Widget Navigation View. And uh, you're obviously going to give it an ID. Um, you're going to want to give it some layout widths and heights. Um, the width uh, of wrap content, uh, we're going to get that actual um, uh, width from our drawer header, which is actually probably, let's see. So uh, to full disclosure, I actually uh, borrowed this from another online tutorial. Uh, and I'll link that one, which has a, I guess, a more complete uh, application. but it, they just used it to get it started over here. Um, so our width is, uh, let's see, basically, oh, it's just going to be match frame. So it's just going to define its own width. So it's not actually defined by the header. This is all, you know, standard for the navigation view uh, as a wrap content uh, width. Okay. And then our gravity, we want to make sure that since we're doing a drawer layout, we want the gravity to be at the start, and that puts it here on the left. 
Uh, unless you're in a right to left language, then it'll put it over here on the right right side because that'll be your start. All right, and then we need the, we have these two little weird things here that start with uh, app. Uh, to get app, you have to import xmlns app, uh, and then make sure you pick the one with res auto at the end. So um, navigation view has two specific uh, classes called um, or methods called uh, header layout and uh, menu. So the header layout is actually this part here on the top that you'll see uh, in the pro this top part right here. Um, you're gonna if you're gonna use this for like uh, showing somebody's logged in, you're gonna want to have to uh, have this part tied in to some kind of uh, fragment or something that deals with signing in and out of the user. So um, you can make this its own fragment. Um, that's probably what I would recommend you doing. And then uh, these are just going to be are actually menu items, uh, which is the weird part about this whole thing. And we get that from uh, defining an actual menu layout. So our menu layout for, for this is actually going to be this drawer. And um, so I have five items. You can put icons here. It'll automatically do the icons for you. As you can see, the, your view isn't really accurate because it this doesn't know it's going in a in a navigation view. Um, but that's OK. Um, we have uh, clickable behavior as being a single choice item. And then we have five items. So if we click on one of these, you'll see that the text now turns red and outside around it is grayed as notifying that it is selected. All right. So that is all good. Uh, let's go into actually defining the what we're doing here. Uh, and you can still use your own um, action bar items if you wanted to along with this. So, you know, just treat this as a second menu, if you will. And uh, I have it where you can click the button and uh, it opens up the drawer as well. Okay, so let's go into our activity since we've already gone over our Gradle uh, requirements, the layouts, and so the last thing to go is over the activity. So this is actually very easy to implement. We have our toolbar um, that we're actually defining in our main activity uh, that's in that frame layout. And then we want to make sure we, we tell the activity that this is going to be our action bar this toolbar. Um, what that does is that gives us the, the text, the icons, and it even adds our menu resource for us uh, in this toolbar. So we actually do want to make sure we, we call this method. And then um, what we want to do here is make sure that we have an action bar, because that's what this action bar is not null. We're defining action bar as our support action bar. Um, we want to display home as up enabled as true and that gives us this uh, arrow icon here for free. Um, you can change the resource as well. You can add another one uh, to uh, like a different resource if you want to change your icon. All right. So then we need to um, define, uh, initialize our drawer layout and then uh, initialize our navigation view. So in our navigation view, we want to uh, set our item selected listener. So and that's uh, you know new navigation view that on navigation item selected listener, and uh, just let it populate this method for you. So uh, it, it's passing in menu items because it knows that it's from a menu resource. So uh, we want to set that item checked whenever we click it. Um, in the future. Uh, in the next, you know, next part of this, we're going to be building on top of this to actually do something when we select the item instead of just setting it as checked. Um, then we're going to close the drawer and uh, return true. So if we don't return true, none of this actually happens. Nothing, nothing happens. Um, last, if we um, want to make sure we uh, make this clickable here and open up the drawer we need to actually specify in our on options item selected 
and call android.r.id home. Home is always going to be that, as long as you set home as enabled as true here. So display home up as enabled true. Okay. So then we're just opening the drawer and specifying where which drawer we're going to open up because you can have two drawers with uh, with uh, so th we need to specify which one so we're picking the start drawer okay so this is a pretty easy tutorial the rest is all boilerplate code that's generated when you start a new activity so I'm not going to go over that um, but yeah I mean that's really nothing to it it's pretty simple so um, hope you like this tutorial and uh, I'll have some more soon.